Hello students, in this video we are going to see the introduction of chapter 8 motion from Physics 9th class NCRT textbook. So learning outcomes of this video is that the students should be able to define the state of rest and motion. Secondly, next outcome is they should be able to answer to this question that are rest and motion the absolute terms or relative terms. So let us start with the topic rest now. Now consider a person standing near the house. Now house is in the surroundings of a person. If a person is standing near the house means with time his position is not changing with respect to house. So we say the person is at rest. In other words, we can say a person is said to be at rest when his position remains the same with respect to time and surroundings or when the position does not change with respect to time and surroundings then the person is said to be at rest. On the other hand, if a person is moving, it means if his when the person is moving, his position is changing with respect to house. Then we say that the person is in motion. So we can say a person is said to be in motion when position of person or object changes with respect to time and surroundings. So students, now you should be able to answer to this first learning outcome. Define the state of rest and motion. So we can say when a body is said to be at rest, when his position remains the same or does not change with respect to time and surroundings. When a person is said to be in motion, when his position changes with respect to time and surroundings. So hope the learning outcome first you have achieved it and let us move to the next learning outcome now. It is our rest and motion the absolute terms or relative terms. Now to understand this, let us first consider two persons sitting in a moving car. Now we know that the, if we consider car to be moving, then obviously the two persons still they are at rest with respect to one another. Why? Because their position is not changing with respect to each other. On the other hand, if there is a third person obviously on the road, then their position is changing with respect to the person on the road. So at the same time, they are in motion with respect to a person on road when they are at rest with respect to each other. So we can say as rest and motion are defined with respect to surroundings, we can say that the rest and motion are relative terms. Hope students the, the learning outcomes you have achieved and if you have achieved this let us move to the next video next time. Thank you.